Hi and welcome to this DCP Web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to join multiple audio tracks using Audacity. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is grab some audio. So I'm going to open up the web browser. You can tap, if you've already got music tracks or you've got some audio that you want to work with yourself, then feel free to use those audio tracks. But you may want to download these same ones, follow this tutorial, and you can use your own audio content afterwards. So I'm going to type into Google or the address bar here, YouTube free audio library. So I'm going to type in YouTube free audio library. You need a Google account to access this, but when we click on YouTube audio library here, all the content inside of here is free to use. You won't get any copyright issues or anything like that. So I want to click on search here and I want to click the search option. So I'm going to search for three different tracks and I'll put links to those, uh, the names of these tracks in the YouTube description. I'm going to click apply and I'm going to click download here. I just want to download two more other tracks. So we'll click here again and we'll search for this one and uh, we'll click download here as well. And then we'll click here one more time and we'll search for this one. And we'll click download as well so we've got these three different audio tracks let's drag them into this folder and then we can join them together and then you can use this process to work on whether it's uh, speech content so if you're creating a podcast you want to join that content together or whether it's a music track that you, you just want to join some music files together then uh, you can use the same process let's go ahead and open up audacity in my previous tutorial i showed you how to install this software so we've got the software loaded here i'm just going to open up this folder then open up audacity and we just want this really this folder to kind of sit on the top above it somewhere around here and we can drag and drop the first track onto the timeline so here we've got the first track let's drag the second one as well it's going to sit directly underneath and the third one will sit directly underneath that as well so really we've got a bit of a problem here it's not a major problem but we've got three audio tracks here and they're all sitting in the same sequence so if we play this uh, content they're all going to be sequenced together it's going to sound like uh, rubbish so i'm going to demonstrate that now by clicking the play button right doesn't sound very good so what we want to do is time shift the audio so that we can sequence the tracks one after the other so you can display these in, in any sort of sequence that you want i would advise that you drag and drop the audio in the sequence that it needs to be so the first audio should be at the top the, then the middle and then the bottom one and we're going to sequence them in that top to bottom order so we'll go ahead and click on this time shift tool this is called the time shift tool and we can drag the second track and drag it across and we can grab this little handle or we can hold down the um the uh, shift key hold down the shift key and we can drag the track this way as well and we can hold down the shift key and use the mouse wheel to to um to move across the timeline and then hold down the shift key and then hold down the left mouse button to drag the audio track and we want these kind of to overlap a little bit right around here we want them to overlap but when we move our mouse cursor to here so this is the timeline cursor if we click here, if we uh let's see let's drag it to here if we click here and let go of the mouse it's going to start to play but this this audio is going to be um overlapping it's not going to sound very good right it's going to sound it's going to clash a little bit so we want to fade one out and fade the other one in so at the end of this one what we're going to do is click on this tool here this is the selection tool and we're going to drag maybe from about it's up to you really i think we should start fading around this sort of duration so this sort of duration we're going to fade out and then we're going to fade this one in so they kind of overlap but fade in and out so we'll go to effects up here we'll click on effects and we're going to go to fade out so you can see that it's starting to fade out but this one just starts off uh, quite loud so we're just going to drag from here and go in the opposite direction so we're going to select this much of the second track and logic tells us if we fade the top one in we want to fade um this one in right not fade it out so it's going to fade in now when we play it this one's going to fade out and this one will start to fade in it will sound a lot better let's give that a quick try <laughs> That sounds a lot better than just having them clash together towards the end right and we'll hold down the shift key and we'll uh, let's uh, in fact let's um, click on the timeline shift tool first and then we can hold down the shift key and drag this one across we can just click here and unclick that actually click here 
hold down the shift key and we can drag this audio across and then if you um, hold down the um, the uh, shift key let's see which one was it now uh, shift and uh, oh, I see hold down the shift key and use your mouse rule to to rotate across right to move across the timeline so shift key and the mouse will ro ro rotate or move the timeline and then shift key and the left mouse button will move the actual audio track and we want these to overlap a little bit say around maybe around sort of around here this should be good let's go ahead and click the selection tool we'll drag from the end here and drag outwards this way or inwards this way we'll go to effects and then we'll go to uh, fade out we want to fade this one out and then we'll drag here and select this content here and then we'll go to effects and we'll fade it in and if, if the fade isn't quite right for you you can always click on the the move tool or the uh yep the, the move tool here you can just drag this clip uh to the side a little bit more right so like that when when audio is sort of decreasing this one's starting to increase let's check that anyway <laughs> might be okay we might shift it a little bit more because it kind of clashes towards the end a little bit but you get the idea right and if you want we you can um you can hold down the shift key use your mouse wheel to zoom to the end of this track and if you want to cut a piece of the track what we could do is use the selection tool let's say like this end part we don't really want like this this part here we can just go ahead and select it go to edit and go to cut or press ctrl x we can get rid of that and then we can select this end part here just some of the end part and we can fade this out so we can go to effects and then we can go to fade out now at least that will fade out and then we could hold down the shift key use our mouse wheel to zoom all the way to the beginning let's move up the timeline and then we could select this part of the audio and we could go to effects and we can fade it in so now we've got the track the first track will fade in and then it will get to this point over here and this one will fade out this one will fade in and then this one will fade out and then the bottom one will fade in and then finally it will fade out towards the end right so that's how we sequence all of the content you can have like 20 30 tracks in here all sequenced together using this technique so i think first thing we should do is go to file and we should save the project so let's save our project um, it's a save project is for audacity project not an audio file right so we're basically saving the make file so that we can open this later and re-edit the content or add another audio track to it later so the sequencing is being saved the actual audacity file let's go ahead and click ok and uh, we're going to go to my desktop let's go to uh, the folder where we've got this project let's find it here and we'll give it a sensible file name so let's call this um, joining audio tracks so now we want to export this as an mp3 file okay to export the mp3 file let's go to file export and then click export as mp3 here you can export it as a WAV file which is a high quality file but will be a larger file you can export it as an OGG file as well and there's some other options in here but we're going to export it as an mp3 file because this is most suitable for streaming content or if you want to put it onto your phone uh, which is probably the best option especially if you're doing podcasts or if you just want to have it playing music uh, maybe you're doing some sort of event and you want some music in the background mp3 should be perfectly fine let's go ahead and click on mp3 and in here it's going to ask us the, the bitrate mode right so this is the quality the preset here so we can set it to standard, we can set it to extreme, and the higher, uh, like insane, would be 320 kilobits, but the file size will be much larger, right? And if we set it to something like standard, the audio will still be very good. So I would pr pretty much stick to standard. I think standard is pretty good. Uh, the audio mode, you can have joint stereo. So there's two channels here, right? Stereo, and, and you can see this audio file is what we call joint stereo because the top and the bottom look identical. But if you're doing a podcast or something like that, I would, I would recommend joint stereo. Uh, stereo here would be if someone's speaking on more of the left side and someone's speaking more on the right side of a podcast, two people sitting opposite, then you're going to hear the difference in the headphones. You're going to hear someone speaking on the left and someone potentially speaking on the right. And I can't, I don't kind of like that. I think joint stereo would be much better. So I'll leave it as joint stereo. Yeah, joint stereo is good. Let's um, the bitrate mode like variable, uh, average, and then constant. 
these options here allow like variable bitrate would fluctuate so the, the quality of the audio would fluctuate or, or the compression would be variable so I wouldn't use these options I'll just use the default preset and leave it as standard I think that's the best option give it a sensible file name I'm just calling this joining audio tracks that's what I've named it and it's an mp3 file here right so we're going to download you've got FLAC you've got all of these different options FLAC for like very high res audio files there's some different options in here but we're going to leave it as mp3 file that's probably a common file format we'll click save and it will click ok here now you can fill in some metadata so metadata is quite important especially if you're a music artist and you're creating some tracks and you want to have your metadata inside of there so like the artist name the track name the album the track number the year the genre any sort of comments what software uh, you can write all of this stuff in here and then if someone downloads that audio track and they plug put it into their, their iphone or their, their android phone then when they're playing that music track it will pop open the, the artist name your name the track and you should also do that for your um, podcast content as well it would be advisable to do that as well let's go ahead and click ok here once you fill out all that information go ahead and click ok and then we'll just watch this uh, join these um, audio tracks together should only take a few seconds to do that okay that's all done so we can now go ahead and close down audacity and we'll open up this folder and inside this folder we've got the original audacity file so we can double click this now and we can reopen our work and we can go ahead and drag across the side here and maybe add a fourth track right or remove something and replace it with something if you're going to remove and replace something my advice is to right click on this audacity file or you can like call this uh, you could rename this like something like version one right v1 then you can right click drag down copy here and then call this one version two and then you can retain all of the work that you did in version one and then when you open up version two you can make changes to it you can add a track remove a track change the audio do whatever you need to do and then export it again but then you retain the copy of version one so you have always got your work retained in version one you might have 20 versions in here for example and here you can see the joining audio tracks let's just double click on it open up the audio and make sure it's working correctly So that all seems to be working fine. You can see the total duration is 90, 9 minutes and 19 seconds. And each one of our audio tracks was roughly around 3 minutes. This is why it's equivalent to 19, uh, 9 minutes and 19 seconds. And this could have been an hour long if you wanted to, right? It can be anything that you want. So let's just go ahead and close that. Let's just go ahead and close this folder. That's how you go about joining multiple audio tracks using Audacity 3. Hopefully you find this tutorial useful. Uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this tutorial. Write a comment in the YouTube description. Tell me if there's anything else that you would like to learn uh, in Audacity. And I'll try and help you out and make some more tutorials on this particular software. That's the end of this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 650 free video tutorials on a wide range of software applications. Okay. Look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.